Howdy. Welcome. My name is Anna. I'm so glad you're here. Hope you're having a good day. Um, today I want to talk about why I'm on a low buy or more just sort of the things that I am prioritizing over makeup when I'm, uh, when I'm doing my spending. Um, the first thing is I am, I'm trying to get out of debt. Like I have a little bit of consumer debt and I just, I want that gone and I'm so close. And so every eyeshadow palette that I do not buy gets me that much closer to being at zero on that. So that is number one. That is why I'm pri prioritizing this low buy. Um, but there are other things too. I've been trying to make um, some positive changes in my life. Not that it, anything was bad or I don't know, whatnot, but I just want to prioritize. I'm, I'm at this point where I'm really trying to prioritize my health and well being over all else. Um, and one could argue that, you know, um, getting a treat now and again is good for your well-being. And I agree with that. And that's why I haven't completely cut out makeup from my budget entirely, right? I'm just trying to do less um, because I feel like for a while I was just like, it was just most of my money was going towards makeup. Anyway, so these are the things that I'm uh, buying instead or spending my money on really. Uh, the first one is a plane, plane ticket. Uh, I want to go visit, I have uh, nibblings, I have two nieces and two nephews, and I want to see them. I want to go um, visit them as much as I possibly can, which, you know, it's hard to get away and whatnot, but I feel like if I can at least go, you know, a little more than once a year, like, that's bare minimum, right? So that is one thing, you know, an airfare is expensive, and what is up with the airlines right now? I swear, it's like you can buy a ticket but if you don't buy the ticket that is like the high enough price to where you get to choose your seat, they can just kick you off. And it's it's like you never had a flight. It's not like they have to find you another flight. I don't know. I don't know if that's all true. I don't like it. Anyways, and or or you pay this airfare and they're like, well, if you want to sit in like a seat, you're going to have to pay an extra, you know, $60 each way. Oh, like a seat, like total, like period. I don't even know. I don't even know what they do with you if not. And then... It's like you have to pay, you know, oh, do you want to bring, you know, a backpack <laughs> like that's larger than, you know, like a little purse or whatever, you know, like if you want to bring just like a school size backpack, you have to pay an extra like $80 a flight or something. I, I don't know what is going on with the airlines right now. Anyways, don't buy a plane ticket as far as I understand don't buy a plane ticket like check these things make sure you know what you're getting because I feel like there's been a lot of fishy stuff going on with that lately okay next thing so I I am a singer I am a musician I am a singer that is that is why I am here um and like I haven't been doing it enough to the point that I think a lot of people just don't even know that I am a singer which is so weird to me because that's just how I identify, if that makes sense. Anyways, I joined a choir. Um, I have to pay dues to be in this choir. You know, it goes toward like buying music, um, rehearsal space. I, I don't even know. You know, there's there's a bunch of like administrative tasks that need to be done and whatnot. Um, it's, it's a thing. You have to pay dues to be in a choir. And so, yeah, I that is well worth it to me paying that money um, to do that. And then um, along with that, I started taking voice lessons now and again. Um, the thing that brought it up was when I was auditioning for the choir, I felt like I just needed some help. And so um, I've taken several voice lessons and you know, that costs money because, and, and here's the thing with musicians, you know, being a musician, I've always felt really keen on supporting other musicians. Um, it's really frustrating when, you know, when I was booking gigs, when like Intel, I'm going to drag them for a minute because Intel was going to hire a quintet. I think it was to do like two hours at some company party. And they were arguing with me over like $600 or something for two hours for five people. I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was definitely 
you know, I think I tried usually, I don't even remember what my rates were, like maybe a hundred dollars an hour per person or something. Um, which you're only per hour means like not the time that you're there, like setting up, driving to the gig, like, uh, tearing down, you know, all of the administrative stuff. Like none of that is even included in that. It's like just the time that you're playing. So if you're playing for two hours, like hundred dollars an hour, and that's supposed to go for, you know, like I said, gas, your equipment, your instruments, all the training that you've had, like that's nothing. Anyway. So Intel was arguing with me over like $600 and it was Intel. Anyways, this is why I don't book things anymore. Cause I just, I can't, I can't, that's, I, why I'm feeling sassy today? I'm just, I'm in a mood, I guess. Anyways, um, my point is I am happy, happy and delighted to pay a voice teacher what they are worth with all the education and all the experience and what they're giving to me, I have learned so much, like so much. Um, and it really helped and I got into the choir. So yay, like, yes, let's, let's put money towards that. I usually don't really do too many videos about like myself and my life. And I guess this is kind of about that and not so much makeup. It's about not buying makeup, which I didn't realize that when I conceived of this idea. But I'm gonna go with it. I feel like, I feel like maybe some of you can relate or at least think of like the things in your life that might be important. Like maybe you like going to concerts, you know, and you wanna prioritize that. Or maybe you like going out to eat. You wanna prioritize that. Maybe um, you like going to sports events, like prioritize that, you know, things like that. Or um, like camping gear, I don't know. Whatever, whatever, it, I'm hoping that it's like, a little bit of inspiration, even if it's not like directly aligned. Maybe you are a singer. Maybe you want to get back into it. You know, um, maybe you want to join a choir. <laughs> Anyways, um, along with the voice lessons, one of the coaches that I went to was like, oh, hey, there's this citywide audition, you know, um, coming up for, it's the Portland Area Theater Alliance. It's not really important what it is, but you do have to pay a fee to like do this audition. And I know that sounds kind of ridiculous, but this is an organization that's basically bringing theaters and actors together, you know, like providing this space for this all to happen. Um, and so there are administrative fees, like putting the binders together with everybody's um, like headshots and um, resumes and whatnot. And I thought, you know, auditioning is terrifying. It's just terrifying. And it's really scary for me. And especially I hadn't auditioned for anything since 2019. Like COVID really messed with my habits, if you will. Like there was no, there was going to be no auditioning. There was going to be no group projects, no singing in public. Um, it took me a while to like be able to feel comfortable. Uh, in social situations again. And so, you know, trying to do that, but, uh, yeah, so I decided to like do this audition and so, you know, pay the fees for that and pay again for like some coaching on my audition and pay for the music. Um, that's another expense with all the singing. It's like paying for the music that I want to use, paying for the people that have composed this music, um, licensed it, whatever. Um, and this is, like I said, all going toward my well-being and my mental health. Because um, I should be singing and I want to be singing and it makes me happy and it brings me joy. And I feel like it's something I should be doing. And so I am. Um, I suppose it doesn't have to cost money. I could just sing. But if I want to get up there and perform in front of people, I feel like I need coaching. I don't know. It's like I'm paying for confidence and what's the word I'm looking for? Um, knowledge, you know, technique. Okay. So, uh, the next thing, and this is sort of along the same lines. Um, I have been taking dance classes again. I have not been active. I have been hiding in my house making videos for YouTube. I mean, 
Um, obviously that's not entirely true. Like I take walks and whatnot, but I haven't like, I don't go to the gym. I don't, I just, I don't do any of that stuff. I don't like that kind of stuff. And so, you know, getting older is weird and hard and I don't understand my body anymore. And I have so many like weird ailments that I never thought would be a thing. Like I get dizzy so easily or like, um, I've always had the, you know, when you go down, um, like if you do, like if you touch your toes or whatever, and then you come back up or you like crouch down and then you stand up the low blood pressure thing where you're like off balance. Um, and I've always had that, but it's been 4,000 times worse since like perimenopause kicked in several years ago. So like I am taking dance classes because it's a way for me to be more physical, but actually enjoy being more physical. So yeah, I started a contemporary class uh, yesterday and I've been taking ballet since January and I am stronger. Like I can feel, I can feel, I feel stronger and it's really exciting. Um, so hopefully, hopefully that's gonna help with my physical health, um, you know, stave off, um, osteoporosis, things like that. Um, so yeah, definitely well worth the cost. Like dance classes, 100% yes. Um, I've been, I have a monthly, like I have a membership to a yoga studio that is really close to my house. And I can't do like, you know, what we call stand up yoga because it's the down and up and down and up and down and up and I'll just get nauseous and dizzy. Maybe if I take enough dance classes and sort of get used to it again. Hey, Barky. We're dog sitting. Um, anyway, so not that kind of yoga, but like yin yoga. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but it is amazing. It is nourishing to my very being. Um, and so we've been doing that twice a week and I am so happy to pay that particular studio, that instructor, you know, for their guidance and like knowledge in that. Like it's so it's, it's like such a bonus to, to my life. And so I'm so grateful for that. And I am happy to spend the money on that. This is all, this is all health stuff. Um, food, food. We spend so much money on groceries. We don't go out to eat. Uh, my husband and I, we have, we both have a lot of like food sensitivities and things. It just is not worth it. It's just stressful and terrible. And most of the time there's not something I can eat for various reasons. Uh, mostly it's an allium problem. There are alliums in everything like onion, garlic, shallots, um, chives, just all of everything in that family, especially just like onion and garlic is in everything. So we don't go out to eat, but what we do is we spend, there's also the, the like ethical, ethical things when you're talking about, um, like eggs. Um, I want eggs from happy chickens. And so I'm going to pay, you know, here in Portland, it's like $10 for a dozen eggs. Um, I mean, depending, I think it's like eight to $10. It could be more even, but we generally spend, I think around eight to $10 per dozen eggs because we want a food that's healthy for us, but also we want those chickens to be treated well. It's just, it's important to us. And so I'm happy to spend, you know, the extra money on that. Um, another thing is coffee. Like I love coffee. I love to have, I can only have one cup a day, <laughs> um, because I'm sensitive, but so, and so, but so, and so when I drink my coffee, like I want the most like primo wonderful experience that I can possibly have. And so we get expensive, you know, like local roasters with fancy, fan the fanciest coffees because that's important to us. And I'm happy, you know, it's like, I'm happy to not get an eyeshadow pellet so that I can be drinking my like lovely coffee every day. And then with that, it's like, and with the groceries, you know, because we have these food sensitivities, we have to get a lot of things that are sort of specialty. Like uh, we need everything gluten-free. Um, gluten-free crackers are expensive. Um, uh, my husband can't eat legumes. So like, we can't just get like beans or, you know, lentils or things like that. Um, Cause 
he can't eat them. Um, basically, the, you know, uh, organic vegetables and fruits, like everything, all of the groceries that we get, we get sort of like the most organic, most, you know, just like the best stuff, the freshest, whatever that we can get, like the best sourced, um, you know, if we can get locally sourced something that's a little bit more expensive than, um, imported for various reasons, it just makes more sense to me to spend the money, uh, for that. And we live in a part of the world where we are lucky that there are a lot of things that are locally sourced. There are a lot of farms around here. Um, cause things grow, things grow here. So, so that's cool. Um, all right. Um, oh, I guess that's it. I guess that's it. That's what, that's what I'm spending my money on. I'm spending my money on my health. That's, uh, that's the long and the short of it. So yeah. Um, I am going to continue to buy makeup and I love makeup. And again, I think, you know, buying a little treat for yourself every once in a while is like a way to live a balanced life. I'd say. Anyways, these are the things I'm basically spending my money on health. I feel like, I feel like I'm spending my money on health. So, um, I just thought I'd make a quick video about this. I don't know. Maybe this wasn't quick. Yeah, it's pretty quick. Um, anyways, <laughs> yeah, I encourage everyone to do what makes them happy. And honestly, like if your health and well-being is better, if you buy a ton of makeup, like I think that could be a thing. You know, like sometimes doing YouTube videos makes me feel happy and healthy in certain ways, you know, and having more content and being able to share these things and have like a community is also healthy. So there are all kinds of reasons why people do all kinds of things. And, you know, like I say, do what makes you happy. And anyways, my journey may not be your journey and that's cool. Um, let me know your journey. If you want to share, I would love to hear it. And, you know, like I said, I hope, I hope you're all having a good week. And I say this a lot, but you know, if it's not so great, I hope that like something happens to make it better. You know, like the, the littlest thing sometimes can raise my mood. And I hope that happens for you. Um, even if you're having a good day, I hope something great happens today. Anyways, um, that's it for today. Uh, like, and subscribe, all of that jazz and i'll see you in the next video bye keep on the sunny side always on the sunny side keep on the sunny side alive it will help us every day it will brighten all the way if we keep on the sunny side alive